When you were a kid, did you ever get ridiculed, mocked, shamed, God forbid, beaten, all because of your weight? This is an On The Pen exclusive story, uh, so you can get the full details at onthepen.com. But I want to paint the landscape before I give you the breaking news. Last week, JAMA published an amazing, amazing study. In this study, it showed that children who were obese that were treated with semaglutide and liraglutide had a 33% reduction in suicidal thoughts and actions. That's amazing. Now, if that wasn't the type of news that we wanted to hear for the impact, the potential impact of these medications on our youth and the possibility of our children not having to face some of the same terrible things that we did, the FDA this week approved, approved clinical trials for the use of terzepatide in adolescents as young as six. Now, this is bound to spark a ton of controversy outside of our community. But for those of us who lived with this disease as a child, uh, as younger adolescents who, who lived in a body that looked different than our peers, we know, we know how heavy this topic is. So we're gonna take a look at the two studies approved by the FDA. The first study is in children ages 12 all the way up to 17. Now this study is going to take a look at the use of terzepatide along with lifestyle modifications in a placebo controlled group. This study is set to wrap in 2027 with the results being released shortly thereafter. The second trial is in even younger children ages six to 11. Now the first part of this study, which is set to wrap in 2025 will actually examine the effects of terzepatide and the safety on the body to show how it works in kids. That wraps again in 2025. The second phase of the study, which isn't set to, uh, to give final information until 2030, will actually focus on the long-term effectiveness of the effects of terzepatide on this patient population. Like I said, this is bound to spark a ton of debate outside this community. But for those of us who lived with this disease as a child, I want to hear from you in the comments of this video. I want to hear some of the stories that you had because those are the stories that need to be told outside this community so that when this story hits the general public and people start to outcry about um, how pharmaceutical drugs are not the answer, how pharmaceutical drugs cannot help childhood obesity, we need to be telling the stories of what we went through because those are the stories that are impactful. Those are the stories that matter to people outside these, this community and will help them get to a place where they can better understand the importance and the criti critical role that these medications can play as it relates to childhood and adolescent obesity. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, saving it, sharing it, sending it to a friend, sending it to somebody maybe who doesn't know quite what to think about these medications. Let's get this conversation started and let's tell our stories.